After giving the marine a coat of uniform grey, we're going to use a thin black wash. This will make the panel lines in the armour really stand out and give them a mechanical look. For this wash, we're using 20% black ink to 80% water. Once dry, go over the pounds of uniform grey again. Leave the black between the plates, but try to get an even coat everywhere else. The rear panels and other black areas can be filled at this point, or can be saved for later as a clean up step. With a 50-50 mix of uniform grey and ashen grey, highlight the top of the armour plates. You can vary this up to give harsher or softer highlights, but here we used a very light highlight to give maximum contrast to the panel lines. Each marine uses a different colour, but here we're starting with deep blue. We focus on the arms, knees, shoulders and back area, and this keeps the model mostly grey while making it identifiable from any direction. Leave the deep blue in the recesses and add a layer of ultramarine blue over all the blue areas. To finish off the blue, mix in 50% electric blue to ultramarine blue and do a highlight on just the top edges and sharp corners.
to complete the model, we clean up the black, and then paint the top of the plasma gun with the same mix of the possessed soldier's armour. We start with uniform grey, then add more skeleton bone at each step, 